welcome into the channel i hope that you guys are doing well y'all i had took taken notes on this um blackout reading because it did come through in a dream but it came through some time ago so bear with me as i recall it okay um and make my notes make sense <laughs> Um, okay, so welcome in and thank you angels and ancestors most high heavenly father holy spirit Thank you so much for clearing accurate messages regarding this black blackout reading holy spirit Recall my re rejog my memory spirit so that I can bring the message correctly Okay, so in this particular dream um It kind of there's it kind of started out Weird, okay, so the first part of the dream I actually witnessed um, there were two sets of twins, okay? And they were all boys. So four men or four boys, okay? Their age, I feel like, isn't really relevant. <gasps> Excuse me. Their age, confirmation spiritual belch, their age re really isn't relevant. Um, but there were four boys, two sets of twins, okay? And they were fraternal twins, okay? Now, each set of twins ended up losing their sibling, okay? So the two siblings that were still remaining, well, the two boys, because they weren't brothers, but they were friends or they knew each other somehow, but they were remaining, okay? They ended up uniting together, okay? And I was able to assist them in their healing in my dream, okay? So... The second part of this dream, because that ended, that part ended there, all right? Now, I don't know how this is going to go in line together, but anyway, um, out here we have the Nine of Swords, we have the Five of Wands, and we have the Eight of Swords, okay? Yeah, I'm not sure what that's, so maybe one of the, maybe one of the brothers feels like they're to blame for the loss of the other brother, or maybe there was some type of a fight, or something like that okay and one person is is bound or trapped in fear maybe someone was just stagnant within their life or maybe that's the vibe okay i'm not sure with the cards but anyway in the dream the second part of the dream um i went to an interview okay i went to an interview now um someone being discriminated against for their hairstyle could be very significant okay so anyway, I went to this interview and it was weird because I was very proud of my hair, but my hair was dreaded. Like I had dreads in my dream and I was very proud of them. I felt like um, I didn't care if where I was going to be interviewed at, if they judged me behind what type of hair I had or the texture or style of my hair, but that was significant. Okay. That is something that stuck out in this dream. Now, um, I went to this interview and I began to explain how I, I, I explained how I assisted the two remaining boys that had both lost their brothers. I was explaining to the interviewee or interviewer how I had assisted them. I guess that was a part of my, my job, um, my job history or work history, right? So I was explaining to them like, yeah, um, I met these twins. They ended up losing each one of them, lost their brother. And I came in and I was able to um, help them heal or recover. That could be grief that I'm seeing in these cards. The nine of swords, five of wands, the eight of swords. There's some type of internal battle there in the mind or mental. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, um, yeah, I was like, yeah, I came in and I helped them recover. I was able to help them heal. And then I actually united them with each other. So it's like they hadn't lost their brother because they gained another brother. You know what I'm saying? Another brother from another mother. You know what I'm saying? Um, so anyway, I feel like that's going to be the title of the read. But anyway, so basically I was explaining that, okay? And then I left the interview, okay? Um before I left the interview, I'm sorry, I didn't just leave the interview right away. Before I left the interview, um, there was one interviewee, another person, another candidate, right, that was trying to apply for this position that became extremely jealous, okay? This person in my dream, like, they tried to interrupt me explaining um, my work history, explaining how I had um, assisted these two people, right? 
after, you know, it going through um, grief and, and experiencing uh, the loss of a loved one. And I was explaining this because it's like it was a group interview and I was explaining it was like my time to talk about what I had done. And as I was doing this, the other candidate stood up and was like, oh, yeah, OK, whatever. We're done with that. Like tried to completely cut me off. And everyone looked and it was like everyone understood in that moment. It was like something that go went without saying that this person was jealous because of the attention not being on her. OK, at that moment. So needless to say, in this dream, the other candidate did not get hired. She didn't get the job, but neither did I, right? But I didn't get that job. I actually was chosen based off of what my skill set was and based off of my job history that I was explaining to the interviewer. Um, they actually, and, and also because of the way I handled this other candidate who was clearly jealous, interrupting, trying to cut me off trying to um, belittle my words, make it like what I had done was insignificant, okay? Um, I handled this person so cool, calm, and collective in my dream. Like, it just was like, I was like, oh, okay, well, you got the floor. You go ahead and talk. You know, I didn't I didn't argue with them. I didn't go back and forth. It was just like, a okay, I, I bowed out, but I took the higher road. And people that were in the interview, interviewing me, interviewing us, saw that. So as they did, they, they, like I said, they, they then dismissed the other candidate. They were like, well, you know, thank you for your service. Thank you for coming to the interview, but we're, we're going to um, go with someone else. We're not interested in hiring you. So like I said, this other candidate did not get the job, but neither did I. I actually was chosen for another role that I didn't even apply for. Okay. So for someone out there, you're going to be chosen for a role that you didn't even apply for or that you didn't know you were applying for. Okay. Someone is going to see something in you. All right. That they're going to find helpful in another area or another department. Okay. So, um, I don't know who this message is for, but you're actually going to be you're actually going to end up being viewed as the number one candidate. Okay. All right. So let me see if I can get the rest of the energy out. So far, a lot of air and a lot of fire is here. So air signs could be significant. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, and the five of wands giving fire, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and Ophiuchian energy. Okay. Let's see if I can get three more cards. Holy Spirit, please. Thank you. Three more, whoa, 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 okay. Three more cards, thank you. Okay, we have the Magician. We have the Ten of Pentacles, okay. Somebody, you're going up for a role or a position. You need to have a positive mindset. You need to be optimistic about this role or this position. The Queen of Pentacles, okay. So a lot of Earth energy in Gemini. So Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, and Gemini is significant as well. At the bottom of the deck, you all, we have the Eight of Cups. Yeah, this is this right here. I feel like um, you're going in or you're up for some type of role and maybe you're not aware of it or you are. You could have applied for something and you're going after it. Be optimistic about the outcome. Even if you are denied for that position, there's something else that's going to open up out of it. There's something good that's going to come out of it. OK. All right, you guys, I hope you all enjoyed this blackout message and my loves. I'll see you all in the next one. Have a great day.